Hello, and welcome to the Electra training video series. This video will cover an overview of how to configure the hardware setup. If you're following along from the defining and applying factors video, I'm continuing from where we left off. At this point, we have set up frequency lists, attenuation factors, transducer factors, and limit lines. Let's make sure our hardware setup takes into account all these things we just set up. To begin, select Hardware Setups in the left sidebar. In this screen, we can either create a new setup or modify one that is already in Electra. For this training video, we will create a new hardware setup. Click the plus line in the lower left hand corner and select the type of hardware setup you want to make. We will do an EMI electric field strength setup. In this screen, we'll click the three dot button so that we can select the ESW44 that we set up earlier. Similarly, we'll add a signal path. One thing that's different about Electra is that at any point you realize you need to add to the device list, you can do that contextually during configuration. So for example, if you needed to add a new signal path at this point, you could do so as you see here. We're going to add this one called ESW2 Antenna, and we're going to use this attenuation table which was set up using the instructions from the last video. If your setup utilizes switching, Electra supports the use of switching matrices. In our example, we do not have any switching, so we're not going to use this feature. Now let's talk about the antenna. Click this three dot button to select your antenna. In this case, we will choose broadband antenna, which was configured using the configuration wizard. Click select to apply the antenna to your hardware setup. Under the general tab, there's numerous fields you can fill out, most notably the model and serial number. Also, you can enter the calibration due date so that Electra will alert you when this date is approaching. Under type, you can select whether this antenna is transmitting, receiving, or both. Under measurement correction, if you have additional attenuation factors that you want to include as part of the antenna but not in the signal path, you can apply them here. On the right side, under antenna factors, you would select your antenna factor for both horizontal and vertical polarizations. Under tower control, you have three options for height, a fixed antenna height, manual height if you're changing the height yourself, or automatic if you're using an antenna mast. We're going to select an antenna tower because we have an antenna mast. Under polarization, you also have fixed, manual, or auto, and we're going to use the same antenna tower because it supports automatic polarization control as well. Finally, if your chamber supports a turntable positioner, Click the three dots button on the end and select your turntable. You again have four different tabs to enter all of the necessary information about your turntable. On the last tab, you have the ability to do a functional check if needed. Last but not least, be sure to save your hardware setup to the Electra database by clicking the save icon and giving your setup an appropriate name. This concludes the training video on hardware setup. If you're following along, the next video will cover creating a test template.